Hey, so we made it to the Laurel Highlands Trail that I wanted to go on today. And I'm not sure how this is gonna go. We'll see. I haven't been on this trail in a long time. Um, well, at least eight months, I'd say. I was here probably at the beginning of the year. But, you know, that was in spring and we just recently had a big ice storm knocked down a bunch of trees left and right so I'm not sure what the trail really looks like right now but I've been planning this trip like I said earlier and I really wanted to take the opportunity to get out to it there is some snow on the ground probably about three centimeters maybe just enough to to cover everything but not really be a a headache for walking through all the snow and things so I'm bundled up and I'm ready to go I just want to wait for a little bit more light so this is gonna be a new challenge for me but I'm looking forward to it Okay, so I made it like three minutes up the trail and today we have elevation changes. So I am definitely more huffy and puffy than I may have been in the first video. Um, so we'll see about that. But like I said before, the ice storm, there are a lot of trees and things down. So as you can see behind me, this is the trail. Uh, actually, like right here is the trail and we've got some pretty significant trees down so i'll do some climbing do some leaping parkour all that stuff but um i'm really looking forward to getting to the top the lights coming up it's going to be a little bit yet for me to get to the top but the lights coming on quicker than i thought it was going to so that's something i need to learn to keep in mind is maybe maybe be early or, or earlier and get set up for you know what I want to take from the the summit of this this trail so uh, I'm gonna do some some stretching limbering up tackle these uh, obstacles here and I'll be back yeah so I haven't gotten to do much photography yet um, still getting to the top here there's just so much of this stuff going on if you can see that brush that's just down covering the trail so i'm kind of making my own path as i go a little bit making it a little bit easier but we have climbed some elevation i think we're getting there slow and steady a lot of huffing and puffing Whew. so i know what you're thinking you're like wow i've been watching this video for however many minutes so far and i've yet to see any type of photography taking place just a lot of this this guy rambling and huffing and puffing but I'm working my way up still and um, I've been keeping my eye out for some really good compositions because as we know I like the woodland compositions I like the landscapes that kind of thing maybe even tying in some man-made stuff with with the woodland or the nature side of it but <clears throat> excuse me I've um, been keeping my eyes up uh, and open for some really good compositions and honestly I'm struggling to find stuff. For me, just maybe it's being my untrained eye and just being very very new to photography in general and setting up compositions and some really nice looking shots that I want to take photos of. Um, I don't I think I've mentioned this before that I don't really feel like every photo I take needs to have a story. I want it to look good for sure, but I don't feel like it needs to have just a story that makes your mind just go down this imagination rabbit hole thing. Um, sometimes just a nice looking photo is a nice looking photo and that's what I'm looking for, but I'm struggling to find it. As you can see, a lot of this stuff that I'm in right now in western Pennsylvania in the middle of winter is um, 
I don't know if you heard that. I thought I heard something crashing through the woods. Anyway, um, if this is my last video, oh dear, somebody upload this. Anyway, so all this little scraggly stuff, uh, it makes it really difficult for me at least to take photos. I feel like it's all gray and it's all just very pointed straight up, uh, a lot of vertical lines. And I just don't find that it's very interesting or it's just so thick that it takes away from maybe a more interesting composition. But I was coming up this hill here, um, coming over the crest of it, I wish. But I did find this, this tree here. You can see, uh, if I could stretch, there we go. Up here, fell, broke, and then landed and split this. And so I really thought that was neat and I'd like to try and get some, some amazing photos of it. Um, I haven't walked up to it because I wanted to be careful of my footprints. I really don't, even though I just said I like man-made stuff maybe and some of my photography, I don't want footprints to kind of make it look goofy or artificial or, or anything like that. So I haven't walked up to it and I'm about to set up and try and get as much of that, of all the broken parts that make it lighter if you see where it breaks, the, the tree is lighter colored. And I like the snow that's on top of it with underneath being that darker gray. And I really want to focus some, if I can, because it's such a wide shot from all the pieces that I want to collect in this photo, that I feel like I need to make this kind of my, my main focal point. So I'm going to practice a little bit. I'm going to try and see what I come up with. And you should see the, the results probably after this. I'm going to get a little creative with my video editing. Instead of having all the photos at the end like I did in my first video, which you can watch here, or there, or description or something if you'd like. Um, fair warning, I ramble in that one too. But I'm going to get set up and I'll, I'll probably put the photos after this this session of video. That way it kind of ties together and tells a little bit better story. Talk about the benefits of I can't even talk. Let's talk about the benefits of portrait photography. Nice warm studio, that's one. Um, people might appreciate your work a little bit better because it's of them. That's kind of nice. Um, no huffing and puffing. That's always a plus, right? That's always a thing. Yeah, portraits. My next video, you'll see me as a portrait photographer. But anyway, joking aside, <clears throat> partly joking aside, I'm about here. I think I've reached a spot that I want to be right here. Uh, some nice power lines, man-made stuff again. It's opening up a little bit. I think there's some scenery that I want to hit. 
So yeah, I think we, we made it to the top of where I want to be, at least on this outing. So let's get to it. I'm excited now. All that portrait photography stuff. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? All right, <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. So this is a beautiful spot. It really, really is. In the, in the winter, it's, I think, a little bit more difficult to actually get some, what I'm gonna call clarity in my shots. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second, but there's, there are power lines that run through here, and I think there's some gas well roads um, or just power company maintenance roads types of things that run through here. And I wanted to use those as some really good lines in my compositions so that I could kind of trail the eye to, to maybe a focal point in a way. So if there's, I'll show you what I mean on this, this, uh, thing over here, but on this ridge over here, but I just can't seem to get what I want. I don't know if it's because of the snow cover, maybe in the summertime there's more traffic on those roads that it makes those lines just so more uh, clear or well well worn that they just show up better to my to my eye. But uh, there's that crashing sound again. I don't know if you can hear that. If not, I'm adding it in post. And I'll probably add a bear right here, you know, and I'll pet him, whatever. But uh, yeah, so give me one second and I'll show you what I'm up against. I'm gonna eat this first. Good thing the, uh, you know, they say the, the camera adds five pounds and I'm glad it's the camera and not these chocolate chip granola bars that I tend to eat all the time. Good thing for that. Beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so let's break this down a little bit. <clears throat> we have behind me here this shot, right? Like this is the wood line. This is the trail that runs out through here. And I really like it. There are some lines here that I tried to take some pictures of and I'll show those in a second. But what else I wanted to look at is over here. So, bear with me a second. And let's just take a look at this. Right there. Amazing, right? Like, there's some, some power lines running this way. I'm actually going to twist it. There we are. So this is what I'm looking at right now. Um, flip you over. So, all of this scraggly stuff here, I think, is just distraction. Maybe there's a way for me to, to blur it out or um, take it out of focus so that my background can be more of the all these things up here. Uh, this section could be more of my focus and, and be the clear part, which is, I think, what I would want instead of all this scraggly stuff. But if, I, if you look, there's just so much of it and I can't get high enough to, to get above it. And I don't want to step on it and I don't want to take anything down. That's just not appropriate to me. Um, you know, leave nature as you found it or sometimes better than you found it is always a good thing. Take your garbage with you. Like I stuffed that granola bar wrapper in my pocket. So I even thought about coming over here and there are two, one here and one here. These are power lines. They're, they're just massive. That might even make a neat shot. I don't know. But they're, they're huge. And I thought if I could step back enough and get it in between uh, the power line poles, I guess, and get a shot down this way. But again, I'm running into some of this scraggly stuff. And I just can't seem to get the shot that I want. And I think it would look fantastic with the, the power lines. If I could make these power lines uh, here just be clear and just almost 
run through it would just, I think, look amazing. But I just can't get it. Um, I'm going to flip around. So I don't know if it's a limitation on me or if it's a limitation on just the environment. Um, and maybe limitation is the wrong word, just a feature, I guess. Limitation on my part, feature of the environment. But uh, I just can't seem to get what I want. So I had another thought was that I could get back so behind me, but it is, as you can see, just so thick. I mean, I am not getting a good shot through all of that. Um, I almost feel like I need a portable step ladder thing that I could just, or a platform, or a tree climbing gear, I could get up these poles or something, just so I could get the shot that I want. And I think it's a difference of what I had thought in my mind this place was, this section of trail was, versus what I'm actually coming to as a photographer. And I think that speaks a lot to scouting a location first, uh, or potentially scouting a location first, and then coming back to it more prepared with maybe a notebook or some a journal or something, and notes that uh, you can reference in order to maximize your time. Because I got up here a little bit later than I wanted to. Uh, you know, huffing and puffing probably was a cause of that. But... I got up here a little bit later than I wanted. The lighting is nice, I think. There's some texture to the sky, um, but it's just a Western Pennsylvania gray kind of day. And it I feel like it really drowns out or, or blah, blahs out. I don't know if that's the photographical technical term, but blahs out just a lot of the color and some of the texture being that uh, we have some snowfall. So my next thought was to come over here on this trail. And I had mentioned previously that there were these these roads that are used. And you saw them in the, the background on a little bit earlier. But I'm going to show them again. And so you have these roads right here that run up and down and everything. Well, there's also, here is the road, and it you can kind of tell where it comes down and wraps around a little bit. I thought that I could get it to go down and wrap. So let me see if I can put myself in here and, and show you what I'm talking about. I wanted to come down here, wrap around. I thought that I could get an entire road and it would just kind of draw your eye and you're, you're almost, I know I keep bouncing back and forth between story and not story or whatever, but I thought it would be a really good composition that would just take your eye on a little journey. And I just couldn't seem to get that shot. Um, and again, I don't know if it's me. I don't know if maybe it's just the time of year or or what I could do to get that shot that I want and and maybe it's just not possible and I need to keep keep doing it keep scouting out locations and things but what I am going to do next is don't get dizzy flip you around again I'm gonna head up here and head to the summit of this and I'm gonna see what's up top I've never been up there but I think it's the perfect opportunity to check things out so when I get to the top, I'll save you all the huffing and puffing rambling. I will let you know how I make out. Still can't seem to get it. So, huffing and puffing, don't even care. I am super excited. I think I found my spot. Um, it took me a second to get up to the, the spot that I wanted to be, that little summit. But it opened up, and 
I think I am about to find something really great. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm really, really hopeful. Um, I just came to the top of this a little bit. If you can see how it, it opened up a little bit and there's the teaser right behind me, right there. I'm thinking I'm going to get a second chance with my, my power lines here. Let me show you. So this is the area and I, I, I love this. I love the photography and I love that I can get excited about something like this. Just these tree lines, like you can tell we're at the top, right? These tree lines, the sky, just looking amazing, amazing. The, the shadows, the trees, the texture. Oh my goodness. I was getting a little discouraged in a way. Not discouraged, but just, I don't know what the right word is. But, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is gonna be, I think, amazing. Okay, so, flip back here. And I'm coming to the crest here. Um, oh my golly. Oh my golly, is that a phrase that people say when they're excited? I don't know, whatever. I'm excited, I can't think straight, and it's cold. It's, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's like negative three Celsius right now. So I'll do the Fahrenheit thing. Uh, I should know Fahrenheit, I live in the States. Um, yeah, it's cold, uh, like 25, something like that, degrees Fahrenheit, whatever. Um, so, oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is so cool. I even want to show you this, this, this tele or power line pole. Just the detail in it. Let me fall. Just look at that. The split in it. Oh, I think that would be a really cool composition. But let's see what I can get. Let's see what I can get. I'm going to hop up here on this rock. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You got to see this. This is cool. I'm sorry. I am, I am excited. This is, this is cool. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Unbelievable. I didn't, I have, like I said, I've never been up here. This, I mean, this is fantastic. Unbelievable. Uh, just the, oh my gosh, I'm seeing so much here. Look at this tree right here. I'm really hoping that this comes across on video because it just looks absolutely fantastic. Oh my goodness, the depth here of just, I can see this and I think this is the place to come back to in the spring or even definitely the fall. But just these, these little tiny, there's my hand, little tiny just drop offs. And, and this right here is just a big valley thing. I don't wanna to get too close because the snow and stuff, I'm, I might go for a ride. This might be a sledding video. Um, but I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Oh my goodness, these rocks here. Oh, ooh, that is slippery. Huh. Okay, um, but just amazing, amazing. There's water down right here, goes across this power line. You can see this, this road right here. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. I hope I have enough time to take all these. Oh, wow, that is very steep. Um, Again, if this is my last video, oh dear. Oh my gosh, I, I gotta I gotta get set up. I gotta take these these amazing amazing compositions. So I will catch up with you in a little bit. Expect a ton of photos following this little section here. I'm excited. If you couldn't tell, um, I I can't help it. This is cool. The, to me, this this is one of the best locations I have ever found. And I didn't even know it was here. That is the coolest part. I didn't know it was here. I just went to the top of a little summit on a whim, thinking maybe I could get a little higher for another shot that I was looking at. Absolutely fantastic. So cool.
so I just got done. I spent a little bit longer than I had to uh, to take some photos here. Some amazing shots, I hope. I can't wait to get home and, and see these on the big screen. Um, it is a date day for me, so I need to get back to the house. But I can't wait to, to see what I found or what I took photos of. Um, this this location was just amazing and it is absolutely going in that that locations journal that I mentioned before of just places to come back to oh my goodness the I can't even imagine what it would be like in the fall or with all the leaves changing or even in the spring as things are just starting to bud and coming green um, just more vibrant more live oh boy this was this was fantastic I I mean, yeah, I'm still coming down off of my excitement, but the wind did pick up, <clears throat> which made it a little bit interesting. Um, my, maybe my next video, I'll talk about my tripod a little bit, how I need a better one, not just a rinky dink off the shelf budget model. Uh, I need something a little bit better to stand up against some of the wind that I'm running into, especially high up on these, these hills or these summits, like. I say summits like I'm in the Rocky Mountains, you know, 12 million feet of elevation above sea level and stuff. So I'm heading back. I don't know. Didn't really have any thoughts. Too many. Don't judge me. I'm burning calories. This is only my second one. Anyway, I had a good outing. Really enjoyed it. I'm glad that I was able to go. I'm glad that I was able to just get out and experience nature again. Um, like I said, I have a desk job. I don't get out nearly enough. I also have two young kids and a wife. So my time is fairly limited. Any chance I can get to, to go outside is absolutely fantastic. So, on my way back, just kind of looking around again. Um, sometimes it's nice to have a different perspective. Coming or going gives you a different angle on things. But again, just running into a lot of that scraggly stuff. If you have any suggestions for getting a good composition with all of that thin, spindly stuff, uh, if you don't mind leaving a comment on the video, I would really appreciate it. Or you can reach out to me uh, through my socials if you'd like. I will post those down in the description. So, always looking for some photographer buddies if you're either in the area and uh, want to go out or share some knowledge or anything like that. That'd be awesome. But, uh, you know, even if we're, we're worldwide and you just want to connect a little bit and have a discussion, shoot the breeze, whatever. Um, I'm always up for it. So, on that note. Mm.